All right, so I'm here with? Gavin Blake. From? Uh, Lusk. Good spot, played many a game out there, so I have. So obviously, cracking atmosphere here in the airport today, everyone's getting behind the girls. Uh, how are you feeling before the big match tomorrow? Uh, nervous, but excited. Uh, I think they'll do what's proud. It's going to be incredible playing against a uh, tough team, but up in front of 83,000 people, just going to be an absolutely amazing experience. How do you rate Ireland's chances of getting out of the group and then potentially going even further? Look, I think they've called it the group of death, so it is going to be very tough. Uh, Canada won't be easy at all. Top-ranked team. I heard Nigeria are very strong as well. Um, but hopefully tomorrow we can get a result against a very good Australian team at home and uh, push them as far as we can. If we get a draw or a win tomorrow, who knows where we can go. If you could get into the dressing room before the match and uh, give the girls a couple of words to G them up, what would you say to them? Just I think they've done the country proud so far. Continue to do that. Don't get overawed by the 83,000 people that are there. Do the basics um, and just enjoy the occasion and, and give it everything. to Have no regrets. And finally, for all the people watching back at home, what would be the best possible way to get behind the girls and get stuck into the tournament? I think hearing about some of the watch parties are brilliant in, in a lot of the clubs. I'm involved with Lusk United. Uh, I know there's going to be lots of people at a uh, kids' camp tomorrow and they'll watch the match. So I think things like the watch parties and all the different parties, get the flags up, get the bunting out and uh, just get behind the countries we always do.